Felicitous greetings, fellow fanatics. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Adam the Fanatic, and today I'm taking a look at Baby Goat Billy, a video game deck builder by Ruman Petrov. Before we begin, please keep in mind that this game is in an alpha state. That means that it is a heavy work in progress, and much of the game is literally unfinished. As such, things will be buggy, incomplete, and just generally messy. This is part of the natural design process of any video game, and as such should not be seen as a mark against the game so long as things are cleaned up in the future. In Baby Goat Billy, you'll take on the role of a young goat whose younger brother, the eponymous Billy, has been kidnapped. It's up to you to explore monster-infested dungeons and rescue him. In a vein similar to Slay the Spire, you'll have to survive a myriad of trials by acquiring new cards, pulling your deck of weaker ones, and leveling up along the way. You'll begin the game with a basic deck of 2 attack and 3 defend cards. Your cards will reset whenever you attempt a new run of a dungeon, though you will keep experience points and skills. We'll get back to that in a little bit. As you traverse the dungeons, you'll have to battle various enemies. During these fights, you'll alternate between playing cards and having the enemy react. Each turn you'll draw 4 random cards from your deck, play a number up to your mana, typically only one to start, resolve their effects, and then the enemy will take the foretold action. So how does this differentiate itself from the rest of the Slay the Spire-like subgenre? There's a few ways. Firstly, it's a lot easier to call your deck than most games. Anytime you have more than 6 cards, you can remove any that you don't want. Keep in mind, when you remove a card, it's not merely taken out of your deck, but deleted from your inventory. This means you have more control over your deck, but you still have to think carefully about what you're removing. The second big difference is in the skill tree. In true RPG-like fashion, you'll level up and take new skills. Unlike your cards, these will persist through runs. So if you're having trouble with a dungeon, grinding for experience and leveling up is a viable option. And finally, unlike most games in this subgenre, the dungeons are actually played out, where you'll obtain side quests as well as have to deftly avoid traps in real time. As you level up, you'll be able to take skills in one of four talent tracks. Each skill will not only give you a permanent bonus of some sort, but also allows you to use more powerful cards of the same type. Wrath cards focus on offensive abilities, Holy cards focus on healing and card manipulation, Wisdom cards focus on defending, and Evil cards focus on debuffing your opponents. You can mix and match these as you see fit in your deck, there's definitely synergy that rewards carefully picking them as things go on. Presentation-wise, the game looks like it's on the right track. The models are well done and the lighting is nice. Dungeons are just right for that creepy for a kid's game look, which considering the young main character, seems to be what they were going for. Animations are very one note, but I'm assuming that most of those are just placeholders for the time being. Sound wise, things seem too unfinished to really give any feedback on them. Pretty much all attacks seem to use the same sound effect, there's not much else to judge by at this point. And that's really all there is to say on the matter. As this is a demo in an alpha state, I'll not be giving Baby Goat Billy a formal review score at this time. Honestly, it's too early to even guess how it will turn out at this point. It could be an amazing game or a terrible one, and I wouldn't be that surprised by either result. I do feel its combat is a little too derivative of Slay the Spire. As I mentioned in my preview for Tales of the Deck, I feel like the video game deck builder genre has been too limited by not straying from that formula. Though, to this game's credit, the way its combos work is certainly different. I hope to see it continue to grow, and wish the developer well in their journey to bring Baby Go Billy to the market. As it stands, the first two dungeons are currently playable as a demo. If you're interested in trying Baby Goat Billy or learning more, links are included in the description. What about you? What do you think of Baby Goat Billy? What video game deck builders do you enjoy? Do you have any questions, remarks, or posing points of view? Leave them in the comments down below. And please remember to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell. Until next time, farewell, fellow fanatics. Thank you again for watching. I have plenty more to share with you if you're interested. You can click up here above my head to subscribe to my channel. You can click over here on my monitor to see the most recent video that I've worked on. Or if you prefer, you can click up here to open this mysterious vault and see what video that the YouTube algorithm has picked just for you.